Blessings, blessings to you guys. We have something that we want to share with you guys. Yes, y'all. We always want to bring light in all this. That's all. Passion Java and Lovi. They know exactly. I'm laughing. (laughs) Because all he said was a bunch of darkness. (laughs) So let's bring some light to it. That's why I'm laughing. Just uh, listen to this crap. Yeah, it's a bunch of crap. And in adding that, I would say uh, the level of your fire will determine how fast you want to be married. The level of your fire, the level of your fire will determine how fast you want to be married. Because mm-hmm. you, there's no really need to say, I want to know you. Because you don't even know yourself. How do you need time to know somebody when you don't even know yourself. Mm. Do you hear that? After collecting $1,000, because he made a uh, lovey and uh, quote-unquote sexy apost- apostle. <laughs> sexy apostle. That's what they call it on the, on the, on the Yes, I've seen that. I've seen how, um, what's his name, Passion Java? No, no, who called? Um, lovey. Lovey called Passion Java sexy apostle. Mm-mm. Oh, wait. He called uh, uh, one of uh, the younger guy they're training. Oh, really? Yeah. Sexy apostle, come. Papa is calling you. Okay, yeah. I was so confused because I seen. I thought he was calling Lovey. I mean, uh, uh, mm. passion job for that. Yo, yo, hey. Okay, hear from them. I want those ten. You, Papa, you said ten ladies. Papa, you said ten ladies, right? Those who are believing God for marriage. Come. So all you marriage. Hey. Papa only saw 10. This is how we will know. Papa, this is how we will know. Shh. This is how we will know that the 10 are the 10. And others will weed themselves out. <laughs> Somebody said, wow. <laughs> Grab a seed of 1,000. Grab a seed of 1,000. Grab a seed of 1,000. If you have it, move forward. Move forward. Stand right here. A seat for 1,000. The 10 people come. So how can you tell all these women to pay $1,000, right? Then after they paid $1,000, maybe they are not getting, getting married, right? There is no good testimony or news coming out. So now you have to tell them that they have to have enough fire for men to come and marry them, to come and dead. They didn't even need to know themselves. Like, that's, that, that means he's telling them that you, you don't even need to be friends or date before anything. The person, because of the fire in you, the man will just come right away and marry you. My, they are really making Christianity look so stupid. I'm telling you. Like, it's really you. bad. And so, like, you can see that an atheist that has been married for 20, 30 years, um, um, any other religion. Chinese people. Been married for 30, 100 years. You know, Muslims. I'm just, you know, I'm just talking, right? So, I'm making those an examples. And then you'll listen to something like this. You'll be like, what in the world is he talking about? Is this what Christians got to do? They got to have more fire to get married. Like, this is really ridiculous. And he just, he, he makes himself sound like he's so intelligent. But it, everything that's coming out of his mouth is just really stupid. Garbage. A lot of them are just voicing out garbage. And do you hear the, the voice of people in the back? Like, wow. Listen to it again. They will always say, wow. What does that have? Like, what is this? I don't know. It's like, I don't even know him. I don't know the people around him, but he is embarrassing me just for listening to him. And a lot of Christians are believing this crap. Like, what excuse is he going to make next? You got to have the fire. So that the man can see you and don't even need to date you. They, they, They will just right away get married. And all these people that are saying this, this is his second wife. Love his second wife. I wanted to say that, but I was just So like, what's the fire? Why is the fire not there? Like, what is this? We know, like, hey, I'm not against somebody get uh, divorced and if he's in uh, the right way, 
is not my business. But why really brainwashing people to believe lies that comes out from your mouth? They want to sound so righteous, so perfect, so like what is this? Stop, because the reason why they will always bring some things like this is because they have brainwashed a lot of people, scam a lot of people, and people are like questioning when are we getting married? We sowing all this seed and paying yeah, all, the, you know, the like, people who sell the thousand dollar seeds for marriage should be questioning him for sure. And because I, now they're gonna be like, I need my thousand dollars back because all I needed was some fire. I know, like uh, you would, they would have said this long time ago. I nobody, know it. nobody need to come up and sow one thousand dollars to get married. They would just uh, pray and get fired. Pa- Pastor Java is digging himself in a hole every day. And the more, listen, y'all, the more you know, my mama and dad taught me this: the more you lie, you can't catch up to it. Yeah. You cannot catch up to a lie. So the more lies he do. You know, he get, he gonna get caught, but then he'll he'll make up a lie so he won't get caught. It just get deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. It's just he's just wasting everybody's time. And the worst thing about this is all the, is this. Benny Hinn anointed him, mm-hmm. prayed over him to go ahead and scam people. Benny Hinn anointed uh Juanita Bino to go ahead and like watch all the people that followed Benny Hinn. They do the same thing, just lying to people, brainwashing them to believe all this deception. I, I had a, I have, a, I have this video right uh, with me about Benny Hinn. He was telling them the dream that he had, and after telling them all this dream, he he just gave them a bunch of lies mm-hmm. and start asking them for hundred dollar seed. I have the video. We shall play with you guys soon. And let me tell you something to make it very clear for everybody. When we say scam, that's our opinion on how they are doing this whole thing. It's called a scam to it's us. Calm. And Benny Hinn and all them are, are training them in ways that we are saying that it's a scam. So, and that's exactly what it is, in my opinion. They all need to repent, turn from their wicked ways, and really fall in love with Jesus but I mean, I mean, the, even the, the Bible says the 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 money, the the love of money, is the root of all evil. This people, they, that's all they love, money. That's all they love, money, no love, power, no nothing else. If they really love people, they will tell people the truth. Yeah, they would. The sad part about this is when they start getting old, like uh, Benny Hinn. Mm-hmm. Cliff Lodola, they will start repenting. That's 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 one thing I don't like. But they do. They repent, but they don't mean but it. Still doing they just want to just sound. They want what it is. They they want to sound and act humble. Yeah. But they're not because Christians really love that humble word. You know. Oh my God, they're so humble. <laughs> you know, they can get people in, boy. Yeah, they know like, how to bring people. It's good to be humble, but be for real humble. Man. And we always say this: we are not against giving. We are not against seed sowing. We are not against tithing. Do it willingly. Communicate communion with God. Or even if you want to do it for love, just do it for love. Not when somebody is asking you to do it. That's when you run for your life. No, give it to good ground. Mm. Y'all, thank you for watching. We love you guys. Bye. Bye, y'all.